I'd like to call this meeting of the Festa City Council to order. Roll call, please. Councilman Boyer. Here. Councilman Collier. Here. Councilman Vins. Here. Councilman Councilwoman Templeton. Here. Councilman Cook. Did he leave? Here. Councilman Wainer. Here. Councilman Tenen. Yep. Councilman Dennis. We do have a quorum. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I will entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. Tonight's bills total $646,595.99. So moved. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Roll call, please. Councilman Vins. Yes. Councilman Cook. Councilwoman Templeton. Yes. Councilman Wainer. Yes. Councilman Tenen. Yes. Councilman Dennis. Councilman Boyer. Yes. Councilman Collier. Yes. Motion passes. Consent agenda is passed. Certification of election results. Madam Clerk. <laughs> For Treasurer Lori Eisenbeis, 718. Councilman Ward, 1. Jim Collier, 144. Councilman Ward 2, Brian Wainer, 84, Alan McCarthy, 51, Aaron Pagia, 52. Councilman Ward 3, Robert Bobby Vins, 142. Councilman Ward 4, Jim Tenen, 119, Larry Schmidt, 57, Charles Underwood, 116. I will entertain a motion to approve the election results. So, so move. Motion's been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Hearing none, motion carries. We have approved the election results. We will now adjourn sine die so we can swear in the new elected officials and elect a mayor pro tem. Madam Clerk. Or you can either you can go out there or have them go out there. Why don't you have them go out there? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Make us go. <laughs> <laughs> You raise your right hand. I, your name, <laughs> do you solemnly swear that I possess all the qualifications for the office of councilman or councilwoman or treasurer? Sorry. <laughs> as prescribed by law that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the state of Missouri, the provisions of all laws of the state affecting cities of this class and the ordinances of the city of Festus and faithfully demean myself in office, so help me God. Congratulations.
I will now uh, entertain nominations for Mayor Pro Tem. We have nomination of Stacy Templeton. I'll second that. That's been seconded. Bobby Vins. Second that. And that's been seconded. Okay. We will do a roll call vote on each one. Roll call for Stacy Templeton. <laughs> Councilman Wayner. Yes. Councilman Tenen. Uh, yes. <laughs> Councilman Boyer. Uh, no. Councilman Collier. Yes. Councilman Vins. Yes. <laughs> Councilwoman Templeton. Yes. How's <laughs> <laughs> that not a conflict of interest? I know. That's 5-1. It's 5-1. Okay. It's 5-1. Well, well, yes, sorry. 5-1. And we, need to, we still have to vote on space, the nomination of Bobby Vins. Okay, we will need to also vote on the nomination of Bobby Vins. Make sure I got that right. Brian? Yes, sir. Uh, since we have two motions and two seconds and we voted with five in the majority on the one do we still need to vote on the second one well i was just looking at that the code doesn't require a particular manner of, of voting and uh it, it just says that uh the majority of all members elected are necessary to make a selection um, which there was a majority in favor of, of selecting um council councilman templeton just now to be service president so i don't think it's strictly necessary to follow through with an additional vote Yeah, you can vote. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, stay. all right. Stacy. Stacy. You got to sing the song now, Stacy. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Nobody. We have elected a mayor pro tem of Councilwoman Templeton. <laughs> Moving right along, I'd like to reconvene the council meeting, but I have a motion. So moved. Motion's been made. Second. Second it. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Hearing none, motion carries. Any remarks of visitors? We did not receive any. We did not receive any. We will move right along and swear in the new firefighters. Yes. <laughs> Raise your right hand. I do solemnly swear that I possess all the qualifications for the office of firefighter as prescribed by law that I will support the Constitution of the United States and of the state of Missouri. And of the state of Missouri. The provisions of all laws. The provisions of all laws. Of this state affecting cities of this class. Of this state affecting cities of this class. And the ordinances of the city of Festus. And the ordinances of the city of Festus. And faithfully demean myself in office. Faithfully demean myself in office. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> 
Herb, who would you like to sing to that? Me? Yep. So thank you. Yes. I promise I won't stand this time. That's a big problem. Yeah, I was going to say, there ought to be. He's called the new shirt. Don't you button back up. All right. Congratulations. All right. Yeah, you don't hurt kids. No, okay. Uh, she's better looking. Yeah, they can come up. Yeah, yeah. Go in all the way. All the way. Okay, I can do that. First, hold. Okay, Yes, it's hard to get blood out of here. <laughs> We're going to get the three. I thank the city council and the mayor for giving the fire department opportunity to add these three individuals to the department. It's greatly. Uh, enhance our ability to do our job. Uh, so I just want to get a quick picture with three if you turn around and face that way. <laughs> Probably all we ever had, we hired her back in December. We lost one and picked up another one and then <laughs> the roll goes right. We're, we're there now. You're acting like the police now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that remark. <laughs> Now you're more welcome to stay for the council meeting. You guys can figure out what you want to do. <laughs> 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 Moving right along, we're into bids, public work, this department, bathroom remodel. Michael, would you like to handle this one or I can discuss it? I no. This okay. Already on. Oh, it's already <laughs> Well, good evening. Uh, as you guys have probably seen, the public works bathroom uh, is something that is pretty desperately needed in there. If you've been back in that building, it's already pretty aged as it is. And with how many guys that we've got working in there, this is something that's just in my time that I've been here being shown around the facilities. I saw this as a very good idea. Uh, were there any questions with this? What exactly are we uh, going to be doing on it and how much you think we're going to need to spend? Uh, the low bid is, uh, we budgeted 10000 The low bid is from about plumbing for $68.73, mm -hmm. um, and they've done other work for us. Uh, so this will be uh, changing two of the, two of the showers um, and uh, changing two of the showers uh, into toilets, making the bathroom less congested um, since we have like 25, 26 folks over there. So. Is there any discussion? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the bid of $6,873 from About Plumbing. So moved. Motion's been made and seconded. Roll call, please. Councilman Collier? Yes. Councilman Vins? Yes. Councilwoman Templeton? Yes. Councilman Wayner? Yes. Councilman Tenen? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Councilman Boyer? Yes. Motion passes. Police Department, portable radios. Good evening, mayors and council. Um, in front of you tonight, I have a bid for five new portable radios 
Um, we currently have 30 portable radios throughout the department. Um, five of those are a newer model. 25 of them are the APX 7,000 models. Those are in um, no longer in service. They will no longer be repaired. They are still functioning currently. So what we've approached to do is we want to replace five radios, five walkies a year over the next several years to bring all of those up to serviceable units. Um, with the <clears throat> five that we're taking out of service, we will hang on to those. In case we have a radio goes down, we will be able to fall back on those to use. So we'll have a surplus um, so we don't have to buy all of them up front. When I first went out for bids before the budget last year, they told me they were right at $7,000 a unit. We budgeted 35,000. Once the final bid came in for what we needed, they came to 7,200 and some change per unit. So that brings the total up to $36,155.50. That is $1,155 over what we budgeted. But uh, I've spoken with Greg and we would like to use some of the proceeds from the Purple Wave auction we had to cover that overage. Any discussion? Chief, one quick question I noticed on there where the uh, UHF ban was deleted. Um, I, I'm assuming that that's not anything that's needed around here, but is there ever a case where we might need that around here? No. Um, basically, these radios were, we got the bid through Jefferson County 911. It's kind of in association with them. This is the walkie that they recommend for their system. And everything that's in there is what is needed. Since we do operate on their frequencies, everything we need is in this. And there's no time that we would need those outside of this service area. Okay, great. Thanks, sir. And just so you know, I said over the next several years, we do have 25 of these radios to replace. So hopefully five radios a year for the next five years before we can rotate through everything. But will that price, I'm assuming, change? I'm sure it'll probably go up over time. Yeah. This is just for this year's five. Right. Next year, we'll go out for bid again. We'll know it's going to be more, than, obviously, than the 7000 per radio starting out now. So we'll budget a little bit more next year. We'll put a little but, more in the budget next year. But with technology, they'll be a little different, I'm doing. Well, this, this radio itself, I think, is going to be the go-to for a while. This is... The APX 7000 was the go to what they used forever or for a long time. Well, then they end of life to that because obviously every so many years they up what you're going right. to be able to purchase and use and what they support. The APX 8000 is the newer radio that just came out in the last couple of years. So that should be a serviceable radio for quite some time. Okay, good. Is there any other discussion? If not, I'll entertain a motion to. Approve the bid for Mo Motorola Solutions for five portable radios and the amount of $36,155.50. So moved. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Roll call, please. Councilman Weiner? Yes. Councilman Tenen? Yes. Councilman Boyer? Yes. Councilman Collier? Yes. Councilman Vins? Yes. Councilwoman Templeton? Yes. Motion passes. Go ahead, Chief, with the next um, portable fingerprint scanners. So we have the portable fingerprint scanners. We have a our live scan machine in the basement is what we do. It's uh, electronic fingerprinting we use for all of our prisoners that we bring in and everything else. They also offer a portable version of that that can be used for field use. And basically what, what this would be used for is we stop somebody on a traffic stop and we know they're not telling us the truth as to who they really are, but there's no way of determining really easily. In the past, we would always have to find or bring them into the station or whatever and run their fingerprints. This will allow us to actually do that on the scene. Um, they can take this thing. They can have it on duty with them. We can check it out at the beginning of their shift. If they run across that situation, the officer just respond, pull this out. They can scan the person's fingerprint on site and within a couple minutes, if they've ever been fingerprinted before, we will get a positive identification on who that person is. Um, this will work in conjunction with the MDTs that our officers already have and the live scan machine that we have in the basement. Therefore, it is a vendor specific bid. Um, we budgeted 5,000, which was the price for the units. But then I would also like to add another $1,000 to that for two, year, two additional years of extended warranty for those units. How many are you going to get, Chief? We'll have two of them. Um, 
one will be yeah that way we have a spare if something should happen or if we have a situation where we need it more more than one at a time what's the what's the lifespan of these they offer up to five years warranty on them so I'm, i don't know the overall lifespan to be honest with you as long as we treat them well i think they'll last for quite a while and they better treat them well <laughs> Is there any other discussion? If not, I will entertain a motion to approve the bid from Idemia Quote for the portable fingerprint scanners for $6,000. So moved. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Roll call, please. Councilman Vins? Yes. Councilwoman Templeton? Yes. Councilman Weiner? Yes. Councilman Tenen? Yes. Councilman Boyer? Yes. Councilman Collier? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you very much. Next on the agenda is the Parks Department Tennis Court Concrete Apron. Uh, good evening, Mr. Mayor, City Council. Tonight, um, a couple of meetings ago, we discussed the install of a concrete apron around uh, the Sunset Park tennis courts. We went out for formal bidding for this project. And while we had a lot of interest, we only actually came up with three bids. Um, they were in the packet, but uh, tonight I'm asking for approval uh, for the bid from Smith & Sons contracting in the amount of $28,635 for the install of the apron around the Sunset Park tennis courts. The only hiccup we have with this is this was not a budgeted item for this year. So, yeah. <laughs> well, no. Um, after uh, looking at it, there is there is surplus uh, uh, funds available in the park fund itself, which would make a much cleaner transaction. Uh, Michelle would prefer that uh, as opposed to an interfund transfer of uh, funds, say from general fund. Uh, but we do have about five hundred and fifty and reserve cash right now in the parks department uh, that could be used to uh, cover the cost of this. And Smith and Sons, actually, I've spoken to a few people that have dealt with this company in the past and they came highly recommended. So. So you're saying we could go ahead and do this and use the surplus funds? Yes. Well, okay. Josh, are you going to kind of go over it with them and make get those elevations right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We Actually, we had on-site meeting already, but okay. once, you know, everything gets rolling, we'll be over there and We'll get everything squared up so, you know, we'll get the water to sheet off as best as possible. Uh, probably going to have to use part of that corner of the tennis court just because of the elevations and then a little bit of work for the stair or step up into the basketball court. But there's still a entrance into the basketball court from the tennis court. So if it's wheelchair accessible that way. Yeah. Is there any other discussion? If not, I'll entertain a motion to accept a bid from Smith & Sons Contracting in the amount of $28,635 to install the apron around the tennis court. So moved. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Roll call, please. Councilman Tenen? Yep. Councilman Boyer? Yes. Councilman Collier? Yes. Councilman Vins? Yes. Councilwoman Templeton? Yes. Councilman Weiner? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. That ought to make you happy, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I probably got a, a supper coming in that, you know. <laughs> Next, we have the fire department for a pickup truck. Mr. Mayor and City Council, I come before you tonight to ask for authorization to purchase a 2024 Ford 150 crew cab pickup truck to replace our current utility vehicle, uh, which is also a Ford pickup truck. Um, we had anticipated the replacement this year. It was in our long, long range budget. Uh, we set aside $60,000 for the truck. Um, I asked uh, for authorization to purchase it on the state bid through Joe Mansions. 
uh, Ford Lincoln out of Columbia for 53,844. Uh, we will need some money to uh, mark the vehicle and lights. So uh, with the 60,000, we should still stay within budget to have it uh, fully ready when we put it in service. Okay. What Is there we, any discussion? What will we be doing with the old pickup? Well, that's the big tug of war down there. There's some that want to keep it, uh, but I don't want to be keeping used equipment laying around. So um, right now it looks like we will probably sell it out, whatever, on Blue Wave or Purple Wave. Or Purple Wave. One of the waves. <laughs> We're going to put it on the wave. Taste the wave. Uh, yeah. So I, 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 put it on the interwebs. Well, I'm not going to say 100, percent but right now we're leaning to get rid of it. Um, well, that yeah. that would help that cover some other expenses, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yep. If you don't, how, how old is that other truck? What is that? You know, I knew you were going to ask me, and 2015. I 2015. 2015. Yeah. Did I put it in there? Yes. Okay. Yes, you did. See, I did my homework. <laughs> yeah. Um, it just uh, there's some issues with it. I mean, they're not critical, but there's some issues with it. It's starting. It costs a little money, so. Like I said, we had planned or anticipated uh, in rotating it up. And we use it, that vehicle's used um, one if we got extra people uh, or um, if we have a full staff, sometimes we'll send that out on the EMS calls uh, so that we don't have to try to get the big trucks down some of the smaller streets. Uh, so it, it gets used quite a bit. Um, and we also went with a pickup truck um, because there was a debate about getting another um, Tahoe. Tahoe, but the problem is then we would have to beg, borrow, and steal from either the water department or the road department for a pickup truck moving our equipment around. So uh, that's why we lean for a pickup truck. And as you see in the bid, it'll have a tunnel cover over it. So we will yep. be able to carry the equipment that we carry in the current one, but then it'll be easier to haul with the camper in that we're kind of, when we're hauling big stuff, it's kind of hard with the camper shell. So the tunnel cover will serve us better uh, using it as a utility truck. Yeah, good. Is there any other discussion? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the bid of $6,000 for a, I'm sorry, $53,844. So moved. Second. <laughs> Six thousand. Well, that's a hell of a deal. Yeah. I'm buying a whole bunch. I think ten. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, they are four. So. Yeah. Hey, oh. hey, 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 hey. Somebody was. Tell what I say. They do not go there. I need a motion to approve a bid for fifty-three thousand eight hundred and forty-four dollars. So second. second. Motion's been made and seconded. In roll call, please. Councilman Vins? Yes. Councilman Wayner? Yes. Councilwoman Templeton? Yes. Councilman Tenen? Yep. Councilman Boyer? Yes. Councilman Collier? Yes. Motion carries. Get your truck. Thank you all. Moving right along, we have Resolutions, not resolutions, ordinances. We have Bill 4767. Madam Clerk, would you please read that bill? Bill number 4767, an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Festus, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to enter into and execute an agreement with Jefferson County Public Sewer District incorporating said agreement as a part of this ordinance and establishing an effective date. Do I have a motion to read, Bill? We already did that. This is a second reading. This is the second reading. Discussion. There's no discussion with the clerk. Please read the bill for the second time. Yeah. We already have. Roll call, Roll call please. Yeah. 
We don't normally do it you know, that way. One of these days. So. <laughs> Councilman Boyer. Yes. Councilman Collier. Yes. Councilman Vins. Yes. Councilwoman Templeton. Yes. Councilman Weiner. Yes. Councilman Tenen. Bill 4767 has passed. We now have Bill 4769 on the agenda. Would the clerk please read the bill? Bill number 4769, an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Festus, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to enter into and execute a contract for federal project number STP-2600-615 with Jokers Paving and Contracting, LLC, for improvements to West Main Street, Phase 2, incorporating said agreement as a part of this ordinance and establish establishing an effective date. Bill 4769 is now open for discussion. Can I have a staff report, please? Uh, yeah, Mayor, City Council, uh, this is, of course, the next phase of our West Main Street project. Uh, Jokerst is the low bid, just uh, just under a million dollars. This does include, uh, unlike uh, the first phase where uh, portions of the water main replacement were exempted, and then we found out we were able to do it uh, and added that in as a separate, this is full replacement from Park Street all the way to the 55 bridge um, as part of the total project. It will continue all the work that's currently being uh, done on West Main by Kimes Contracting, who did bid on the project, but they were uh, they were not the low bid. Any discussion? Is there any council member would like this bill carried over to the next meeting. Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to suspend the rules and read Bill 4769 for a second time in title only. So moved. Motion's been made second. and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Hearing none, motion carries. Madam Clerk, would you please read Bill 4769 for the second time? Bill number 4769, an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Festus, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to enter into and execute a contract for federal project number STP-2600-615 with Jokers Paving and Contracting, LLC, for improvements to West Main Street Phase 2, incorporating said agreement as a part of this ordinance and establishing an effective date. Councilman Collier. Yes. Councilman Vins. Yes. Councilwoman Templeton. Yes. Councilman Weiner. Yes. Councilman Tenen. Councilman Boyer. Yes. Bill 4769 has passed. <clears throat> Moving right along, new business. We have a liquor license for Main and Mill Central. Hello, Mayor and Council. Um, I don't know what all I should say here. Uh, this has been <laughs> nine years or so since we asked for the last one, so I don't know if I field questions or I explain what we're doing. So Explain what you're doing. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Down at 10 East Main, so that's across from Festus Music World, right next to the Corner Cup. Um, anybody that's been down Main Street sees the construction that we've been doing um, for pretty much since COVID. Uh, um, but what we're looking for, we're going to separate that into three spaces. Uh, for anybody that's been in there before, it had a slope floor, so it dropped two and a half feet from one side to the other. So uh, that doesn't that's not really manageable. So we're splitting it into threes. Uh, this specific liquor license uh, is looking for um, what we're calling central, uh, but it's gonna be by main and mill. Um, it'll be another tap room, but it will not just focus on beer. So we'll have 24 taps and we're gonna be leaning into NA products as well, um, kombuchas, things like that. So 
um, kind of the idea of having a social scene for anybody that drinker or non drinker, uh, it doesn't matter to us. And we want to make sure that we have a place for somebody like that to go. So, um, eventually this is a four phase project. Um, so phase one will be our tap room. Initially it was going to be a cocktail bar, um, which is still going to happen. Uh, but that's six main now. Um, so I'll kind of get into that here in a second. Um, but so we'll have a tap room, uh, that's phase one. Um, it's attached to a back event deck that overlooks our new brewery or like production facility of our brewery. Um, so that's going to be coming, uh, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll see. Uh, I don't like giving dates anymore. I'm not very good at that. Uh, <laughs> so, um, never, never know. You never know. It's always contractors. So, <laughs> um, so we'll have an event deck in the back. Um, that'll probably depending on how things shake out probably be phase four but we're not really sure um the center space will be eight uh which is interesting eight main uh will be a restaurant carry out restaurant with its own uh, own front space and a window to our tap room so if you've been to a brewery in the in any downtown community they have uh their own window usually for a restaurant to operate we're taking that a step further they'll have their own road frontage so it'll be a full standalone um carry out sell restaurant but we'll essentially have a dining room uh for our new tap room uh and eventually a vent deck so upwards of 200 seats um and then say uh, phase three will be a cocktail bar I'm, I'm going through this all specifically because it's all attached um that's another question that i've got because i i think in the history of festus we don't have something similar to this so that it's a new precedent um a cocktail bar uh that'll be the phase three likely um and they'll all be attached by a bathroom so our bathrooms will be universally shared by the tap room and our cocktail bar um they will have separate addresses thanks to mark harris here for making facilitating that um which was a big part of what we want to do we want to have it to where it's a standalone thing it will not look like a mini mall uh they'll all have their own uh unique frontages so but with the cocktail bar and the tap room we're going to be running and uh running them through our, our normal day-to-day -day operations. They're shared by a bathroom. I don't know if that leads to one liquor license for to essentially one location, but with two names, with two addresses, but under one halo of one address kind of, uh, it's a weird situation, um, but either way. So that's that's kind of the the general consensus of, of how we're gonna plan this. I say the phases were pretty locked in as of about four or five days ago. Um, and now we've thankfully were able to, um, kind of get move a lot faster than we were with a bank loan from, uh, our local credit union. So what could have been a two year process is now considerably shorter based on the time frames of, of what, um, a bank has helped facilitate. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's the thing we're looking at our opening, uh, Mark has seen it, uh, we're, uh, it's, it's all under plastic. It looks like we are a long way away, but it won't be too many uh, weeks away. And then we'll, have an entire new front from one day to the next where it looks like it's under plastic and then we hey, Denny, unveil it. So what are you what are you looking to hoping to have it done by like July? Uh or? no, it should be the tap room portion should be late May. Again, don't hold me to it. <laughs> right. Uh that's you know, we've keep on pushing the pushing it back a little bit, uh, just because it just things take a little bit longer. And this has been a unique construction experience uh with slope floors and having to build an entirely new floor that doesn't also you know, somebody drops a drink and we're just rolling all the way down to the the end of the concrete. So it's been uh, it's been interesting to say the least. But um, we're really getting close. We have our uh, we have an entry being put in on uh, next week, uh, barring any issues. Um, we already have our we have a garage door front that's going to be an open air um, bar uh, that will actually kick in. So like right now it's already in, but you don't know that because there's plastic there. Um, so it's going to be a very unique looking space. It's going to be a different type of, uh, situation, not any, you know, similar to this, uh, what I feel like we did with the brew pub where it was a totally different experience for something in a community like this. So we're trying to, um, raise the bar and just kind of bring, you know, um, an urban area down to Festus with what we can do on our main street. And for anybody that knows, uh, pretty behind main street. So, um, that's the, general consensus of what we're what we're going to try to accomplish here in the next by the end of the year I'll, hopefully all all spaces are open by the end of the year good sounds good chief you have any problem 
they've been a great partner to work with up until now and i look forward to continuing that uh cooperation thank you good yeah i'd like to say just as a uh, fellow uh businessman on main street that uh denny and his dad you know worked down there tirelessly to get main and mill going and uh so that kind of became one anchor for main street and i think with your uh addition down across from uh, the music store sacred heart down there i think that's going to be a really a nice addition down there and it's going to, it's going to be another anchor you know for main street and main street's already filling in with a lot of nice businesses and i think this is just going to enhance and uh just make the whole area a lot better so appreciate we all appreciate what you do denny appreciate that thank you yes we do i will entertain a motion to approve the liquor license for uh, Main and Mill Central. So moved. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Hearing none, motion carries. You have it, Denny. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Council. Mm -hmm. Next thing under new business, we have a parade request from the Twin City Little League. For their opening day, which is April the 20th, 2024. The application is uh, here uh, in your uh, in your packets. Uh, this is uh, the annual Twin City Little League uh, Parade. They they do this every year for, uh, for a long time now. So uh, this would be the same and obviously uh, would receive a police escort as part of it. If you could read it. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, I'll entertain a motion to approve the parade request for Twin City Little League for opening day. So moved. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Hearing none, motion carries. Madam Clerk, would you let the Twin City Little League know that they can have their parade, yeah. please? <laughs> Next thing we have uh, on the new business agenda is the street closures for the Twin City Area Chamber of Commerce. That's uh, Twin City Days, September 7th, Trick or Treat Spooktacular, October 26th, and the Annual Christmas Parade, December 2nd of 2024. Discussion. We don't have any problems with this, do we, Chief? No, sir, I do not. They're all annual events, and they're all very well organized. Any discussion? Hearing none, I will entertain a motion to approve the street Closures for the Twin City Area Chamber of Commerce. So moved. Motion's been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Hearing none, motion carries. Madam Clerk, would you please contact the Chamber of Commerce and uh, let them know we approved it. Moving right along, we have any old business? No, sir. No old business. Councilman Boyer. Yes, sir. Uh, glad to hear that the uh, bids on the water are going to be taking place tomorrow. That's a, a good thing. Um, seen pictures of the uh, band building where the floor looks great and the painting on the walls. I mean, everything really looks nice over there. I guess we're continuing to uh, rent that out, right? Yeah, that all looks real good. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you, Councilman Weiner. I join in Councilman Boyer with the uh, excitement for the Edgewater bids being open tomorrow. I think we, I think we've tackled that problem really well, as aggressively and as quick as we could once we were uh, aware of the problems that were that were in that area. Um, it's good to see Phase One here of West Main starting to uh, rock and roll a little bit to get get things done with it. And uh, I'm happy to see new water lines being part of that phase too, so that uh, 
we're not reacting to uh, possible problems somewhere down the line. Uh, pickleballs were pickleball courts were forward yesterday, and uh, they looked fantastic. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a bit before they're where they're cured and painted and fenced and lit and electrified and everything else that can be said about them. But that's going to be uh, quite an asset for the community when when they are finished. And uh, finally, just a little thing here. Uh, Steve Stoll, Steve Stoll rather, had a book signing over at the Festus Library maybe a week or two ago. We went there. It was jam-packed, and Steve just did a great job. And uh, Elizabeth and her crew were over there doing a great job with that also. So uh, that's all I have, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Councilman Collier. All right. Since Mike's not here, I got a little bit extra then. <laughs> I'll take I'll take up his time. Well, I'd like to welcome uh, Mike to the city. I hope he, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it and looking forward to working with you. I'd like to congratulate all the new firefighters. Uh, hopefully uh, things will be good for them and everything will work out good. Um, Mark, thanks for getting it cleaned up over there by the smokehouse. That looks good now. Uh, thanks for all the workers that jumped in and fixed all the water leak over at Bailey Station. They jumped in, did a good job, did it quickly, safely, and efficiently. That was a good thing. And the communications that was sent out along with that worked out real well also. Appreciate that. And I've just been noticing with all of our improvements around the city, I'm sure we're not getting any calls from the citizens about rough roads or anything, but <laughs> hopefully they'll have patience and they'll realize that once all that's done, that the improvements will be a whole lot better and that the city will be a lot better than what it was before. And my last thing is with all the good things happening in Festus with the pickleball courts, the splash pad, the playground equipment, with all of the things that Barb and Josh are putting together for the parks, all the activities, I think for the year, thank you for all the hard work you guys been doing, putting that all together. Uh, it looks like the future of our city is, is really in good hands and is really going to be good for the next year. So with that, thank you. That's all I got there. All right. Thank you, Councilwoman Templeton. I don't know what I could add that he didn't already just say. So <laughs> we'll make it quick. Councilman Vins. Ditto on that too. Good job, Jim. Uh, on Central, when KCI or shut down the, the he was working on the bridge over the weekend. There was only signage one way and not coming from the other way. Is that their job or That's ours? MoDOT. Yeah, well, KCI's job. Okay, because but I mean we can send them a little because rope. No, it was coming from this direction. No one knew anything until they finally showed up. <clears throat> but then it showed the detours once you turned around. But it didn't show anything like, hey, don't go this way. If you're going to go this, you know, something needed to be down at the other end, and so that wasn't. And um, so. <clears throat> If you could please check into that or Mike checks into that or something. And um, up there on Scenic, I know eventually we, you told me when I talked to you the other day, we're hoping to, to um, improve that up there or overlay or something. Mm -hmm. But that's not for a few years, right? Um, North Mill um, is in uh, the 2025. We have an STP grant for that. Yep. Um, so that'll resurface it all the way up to the start of the Laban subdivision. Right. And uh they was asking for signage like curve or the curve here having some kind of arrows or something when they yeah. you know if there, that could happen. I don't know if it could happen now or if we have to wait till we redo the road. We can do it now, but it's it whatever we put in now is going to be taken out and replaced with new signage. Uh as part of that project, all the signage gets up updated and upgraded. Yeah. So uh it, we could go ahead if there's if there's an immediate need um uh, up there, we can certainly take care of it, and it's just those those are signs that we'll recycle and put someplace else. Is there any uh, guardrails we were thinking of doing of anything up there? I didn't know that. It... I don't believe guardrails in the project. Okay, I just a couple of those curves in case the way people have been speeding more lately and doing mm -hmm. more damage. I just didn't know if it called for any need to have any guardrails up there. And uh, so I just 
they, I was asked about it, so I thought I'd bring it up. Okay. And uh, Chief Wendell, I know you don't drive it, but how's the new Dodgers working out, Durangos? We've had good reports from, from the officers that have been, two of them are officially on the road. We got a third one back uh, yesterday, so it'll be hitting the road here shortly. Um, two more are up there right now being worked on, but the officers that are driving them already really seem to like them. So I remember you told me you never had the Durangos before, and it, that's what came in the bid. But Yeah, so I mean, we were, were cautiously optimistic when we got them, and so far the reports on them have been pretty good. So I'm happy with them. It's good. Mike, welcome, and new firefighters, welcome too. That's it, sir. All right, thank you, Councilman Tennant. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, good news about uh, Chuck Kimes in the street over here on Main. Um, seems like it's been going on a lot longer than it has, but uh, I'll be glad when it's done as well. Um, congratulations, Mike, uh, firefighters, uh, uh, councilmen that were reelected. Um, the tennis court apron. Uh, I think I'm going to pass out, you know, <laughs> but, uh, uh, I, I'm like Jim. I think we were, we've got some good progress going. Um, and I think we uh, still have a lot of work to do. Brian and I talked a little bit about that. And uh, I, I think as a council, we've been working well together for years and, and I look forward to serving another few years with all you guys. So I, uh, thank you. Yep. Well, most of it's all been said, but the one group that Jim didn't include is you all. None of this stuff would happen without you all and your work in the city, seeing what we needed to have done, and then approving the funds to do it and then getting it done. So reach back and pat yourselves on the back. We got another year ahead of us and we'll see what we can do this year. That's all I have. I will. No, I'm sorry. I got, remi I got reminded spring cleanup is Saturday, April 20th at 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Is that correct? Good. That's what the flyer says. So um, any electronics? Oh, that's a separate event. That, that was in May. Yeah. That one's in May. Yeah. So TVs. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that as a separate event in May. At same location or that's somewhere else? You know? Yes. Same location. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second it. Motion's been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say nay. Hearing none, motion carries. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>